I do make a joke right now, but I don't think it's my place to do so. Do it. Uh, remember what Flanny says about you syncing up with people? Cruz. I will even that. <laughs> <laughs> I said I shouldn't make the joke! <laughs> this is this is an inside joke that you know nobody's you know gonna what? get but us here. I was the one who uh, I was the one who peer pressured you. I deserve it. Let's you kind of do. I, I'm not gonna hold back. <laughs> so your thoughts? No comment. Okay, okay. As usual. As usual. <laughs> but for your own reference, uh, Ein, we are hmm. at 36 minutes. Granted, like, 10 of that was like just setting up after VTube Studio wasn't being nice. So if we're mm -hmm. expecting maybe like another 20, 30 hours this day, you think just two days will be good for tonight? I think two days ought to be good enough, yeah. Yeah, we'll get through this half and then one more day then. Jill, the kid's looking for you. Oh, shit. Hey. Ah, Norma. You're back. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you do know I'm not giving you any drinks, right? I said it out loud. Yeah, um, actually, I wanted to thank you. She thought it was for her. Thank me? Well, for starters, by not complying and giving me alcohol, everything else would have fallen apart if I had some. Aw, so responsible, Joe. I kind of faced my mom and told her all about the pressure she was putting on me. And said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. And? Well, she didn't speak to me for two days. After that, she told me that it'd be a waste to spend money in a university for me to not give it my all. So she told me to still go to, to the college course, but I was free to explore. I'm glad to hear that. And, well, I wanted to thank you for that. Me? If I just rushed headfirst into my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. And you were right. I would be hurting her for the sake of hurting. So, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'll leave before it's too late outside. Be careful. Ah, so sweet. Shut up. Hey, Jill. Mind helping me here? Sure. Make a Bleeding Jane, please. On it. Bleeding Jane for Gil. <laughs> you... Kind of froze on the spot there, you get? Yep. <clears throat> Thanks. Hey, Joe, do you hate me? Hate is a harsh word. It's not against you directly, but rather the fact that I can, that only I can see you. Like I told you, if they wanted, they could see me. And why can I? You're the main character? Dunno. Alright, let's, let's not break the fourth wall. Please. <laughs> what are you? A cute girl. Right. You okay, Jill? Making a lot of faces there. Yeah, just remembering stuff. Could you give me a hand here and serve a beer, please? Sure. A beer for Gil now. I'll double up on it. Sure, why not? Fuck. <laughs> you want- you want to know what flub that is this time, Mine? No. Okay. Okay, okay. Thanks. Would you lighten up if I showed you I can interact with the environment? Maybe it'll spook me, but let's 
try. There. Ah! Can't see anything. You sure? Yep. Weird. What? Nobody expects the Dorothy Inquisition! Dorothy Inquisition. Dorothy Inquisition. Dorothy. Ha! I bit my son! Ah, ah. Yeah. Can't believe I'm using the spare ton so early in the night. Ah. <clears throat> Honey! Ah, hey, Dorothy. I'm making a quick stop for a drink. Can I get a fluffy dream? Sure. A fluffy dream for the Dorothy on the go. Sounds like sounds like a good business name, Dorothy on the go. And again, we don't know how she's advertising herself out, so maybe that is it. <laughs> it's just an old odor of <laughs> her shift. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't do just you Remember like... the last time you got Dorothy drunk? I don't know, it was kinda entertaining. <laughs> you're the you're the boss, you're the Jill. Whatever you want, Chief. Well if she's on the go, she shouldn't have like more than like one or two drinks, right? I mean it's it's drinks. Is it drinks with alcohol is your question. Have a good night, Kappa. It's late, of course, but you'll be able to see the VOD as always, so have a good night, rest well. Yep, have a good night, Kappa. Eh, we'll do... we'll do four. Here. Thanks. Oh yeah, before you leave... What? Are you guys throwing a New Year's party too? Yep. Sure, I'll be here then. Well, I've got things to do, so... You do? Who does what? Sorry, I... sneezed. Weird sneezes. Anyway, I'm out for now. Oh yeah, Joe? Take care of Becky, please. Who the hell is Becky? Who's Becky? Who's what? <laughs> you said I said nothing. Hi, Crimson. Yeah, you you, you just missed you just missed uh, Dorothy fun. Hope you're doing well tonight. Okay, fuck that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. I don't need to get them through more shady means. He's gonna buy them from the internet. She'll find them and put us all at risk of burning. I'll make sure there's an extra extinguisher at hand. Please. I guess that's it for today. You sure you're fine? I am. Don't worry. Hey, Jill. Mind if I ask a silly question? You've seen my clients. You can assume I don't mind silly questions. Silly answers can get on my nerves, though. Sorry. What did you want to ask? Do you know why they call them cat boomers? I mean, I guess their second set of ears looks like cats, but... The word boomer seems so out of place. Okay, boomer. <laughs> not so much when you consider it's not them, but their parents who were called such. Oh? Let's go a bit back first. You know, you do know why cat boomers look like that, right? Because they went through some anti nanomachine rejection treatment while they were still a fetus, right? It's called the Yamazaki Romanova treatment. Wow, I can't or, believe you just got that immediately. Or, or was it the Romaneko. Romaneko Yamada treatment? The Roma. Let's, let's just call it the catification procedure. It was not only the first successful genetic treatment on a fetus, but also the first way to fight nanomachine rejection. Moreover, that research had a bit of a rocky story. The funding got cut in the middle of it, at a critical point that could make or break the whole thing. Not to mention Zaibatsu Corp's record of not addressing nanomachine -machi nano rejection at all. The rest of the research was funded by Maki Stengovic. 
was it Stingovich? Let's call him Stingovich for now. He's a businessman whose unborn daughter got diagnosed with early nanomachine machine rejection. Stingovich funded the research, and in a desperate move, his wife offered herself and her daughter as test subjects. Of course, the experiment was a success. The girl, Sylvia Stingovich, didn't die. She became the living testament of a scientific breakthrough. But then, the story of how things played out for Sylvia got sensationalized in the media and created a weird fad. Parents made their unborn children go through the catification procedure even if they had no ailments at all. All because one particular girl whose life got saved through that treatment became a media darling for a bit. A whole generation of kids with those cat-like protrusions got born. And their parents got called cat boomers. A generation of parents obsessed with those cat-like features. The fad quickly passed, but the term remained in use. Eventually, cat boomer just started being used for people with the protrusions instead of their parents. You keep calling them protrusions. Why is that? Because that's what they are. Huh? You didn't think those things on their heads were ears, right? Sure, they can be moved because they're somehow connected to the facial and mirror muscles. Thus, they can move like a cat's and react to their mood. But in the end, they're just appendages with no real function. Huh. It still surprises me a bit, though, that the biggest mutation that they got after the treatment is just that. Those ears are a small miracle on their own. People have been born with no eyes for less intrusive procedures. You really thought they were functional ears, huh? Let's say I learned quite a bit today. Thank you. Don't worry. I feel like I should apologize for talking so much instead. God, do yeah, I feel you, that. You've been going on, Ayn. Ugh. And keep in mind, I'm fucking up the terms. <laughs> and the words. Yep. And the drinks. Uh, well, you admit to that now. I don't want you saying someone got protrusions because of a catification procedure. I'll keep it in mind. Wait! What? Yeah, the guy's name was Stengovic. Eh? I just remembered Sylvia Stengovic was around my age, and when I was a teen, there were some TV specials featuring her. And I just remembered that I had the biggest crush on her. <laughs> now that I think about it, that crush had me very confused back then. And did you need to shout just now? Sorry. In any case, I'm out for the day. Alright. Careful out there. Congrats on today, and of course, all booze and no firecrackers. This makes Dana a dull girl. I have 300 bots. <laughs> oh, God. Well, let's save real quick then, Ayn? Yeah. Let's. You want to do the news now, or save it for next time? Uh... I, I I think we could more to, I think we could save it for next time around, don't you think? Mm, yeah. Eventually. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna call for a water break for you, and then we'll okay. get on with one more day, right? Alrighty. All right. Let's be right back, everybody.